Welcome to Rooster Setup Guide and Tutorial. So we're going to launch the application to start. And once you've launched it, you'll see you arrive at the home screen. We've got the time in the middle there, your alarm time up in the top left hand corner. And up in the top right hand corner, we've got the settings cog. I'm going to start there. Here we've got the main menu. Alarm, feeds, general, share, about and watch tutorial video. We're going to start by going to the general settings. In the general settings we have four menus. Personalization, voice settings, music timer and RSS settings. We're going to start off at personalization which controls the greeting that triggers when your alarm first goes off. So open here. And here we enter a greeting to be spoken when the alarm triggers. If you don't want a greeting, simply leave blank. Back to general settings. Now we'll look at the voice settings. So voice settings, we can control the volume and the speed and the pause length of the speech. Back to general settings. Music timer, here we can control the length of the music to be played when your alarm goes off. Back to general settings and RSS settings. Here we can control the number of headlines to be read from your feeds. Back to general settings. Now we go to feeds. And here we have two areas, preset feeds and custom categories. We're going to start off in preset feeds and go to our calendar and configure our calendars to be read out. So here you can toggle on and off the calendars you wish to have read out by simply selecting the item. Back to feeds. Now we go to Twitter account. From our Twitter account, we can sign in here and that will enable us to have our tweets read out to us in the morning when our alarm goes off. Now we're going to set up our custom feeds. We've already got a default category down there of my feeds but if you want to set up a new category, you can click the plus here and add a new category. Categories enable us to organize our feeds into categories such as news, weather, finance, etc. And you can add it here by clicking done once you've added a name. In our case, we'll just cancel. I'm going to add a feed to the My Feeds category. So simply go down and click My Feeds. And here you'll see it's blank. I have no feed set up. But to add one, I go up to the top right corner, click the add, and now I'm in the add RSS feed page. First of all, you've got three fields, a domain, a feed name, and a feed URL. The domain, we can simply type in a URL and try to find a feed off that domain. We type it in here, and once you have typed it in, you simply go over and select get feed. If the feed fails, this message will come up. If you cannot find the feed off a URL, you can type it in manually and here you can give your feed a title and here you would add the URL. All feeds must start with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Once you've added it, press done and it will appear back in your My Feeds area. Now we're going to go back to the Feeds page and we are done setting up this section. Back to the Settings page now. And now we're going to set up our alarm. In our alarm, we have four areas, alarm, repeat daily, feed settings, and snooze timer. We also have the wheel down the bottom where you set the time. 
and we have the two toggle buttons here up the top alarm and repeat daily and you can switch those on and they will enable first of all your alarm to be on and secondly to repeat daily if you wish next we're going to have a look at the feed settings in here you can turn on or off each of the feed categories so RSS feeds which are your custom feeds music calendar and Twitter and you can also edit the order by selecting edit I'm going to go back now and now we'll just have a quick look at the snooze timer simply a wheel again to select a time of how long your alarm will snooze if you select it we're done there back to settings and now your alarm is configured completely you can press done once you've pressed done it will return to the home screen and you should leave this screen on before you go to bed once the alarm triggers this is the screen that will appear.